building things in classrooms. It's all about getting students to talk to each other in class. It's, it's a physical implementation strategy of getting students up out of their seats in random groups of three, and the groups change every day. We've got some really great feedback from teachers and students about the strategy and uh, how it's helping them build relationships, learning math, and all kinds of good things. So. Students are grouped randomly. There is not a choice from the students or the teachers, which is a great thing, I think, to apply to that real world because when you get jobs, you, you're gonna have to be able to incorporate their ideas as well as yours. So it gives them that experience to accept others' responses and to actually have a, sometimes, a, what, we, what I call a friendly debate so that they can kind of get that, just that common goal of, hey, understanding the curriculum. And of course, everybody wants to get the answer right. Our students, start usually coming in the classroom, are randomly assigned to groups every day, which uh, promotes them not getting stuck in the roles that a lot of them will automatically take. They'll, a lot of them will be the note taker or someone will be, always be the, the leader of the group, and building things in classrooms allows that to change each week with, when you have a different group every day. Um, in those groups then, they tackle different tasks and they'll work through problem solving, usually with a non-curricular task first, where they'll get their brains kind of primed for learning, and then afterwards they'll tackle the task of the day, where they will thin splice and work through different levels one piece at a time. One of the things our students have told their teachers when they're doing this is that it's fun. They enjoy coming into math class, and before a lot of kids did not enjoy math. A lot of people are always told, I'm not good at math, I can't do math, and it's drawing kids out of that shell and realizing that math can be fun and engaging and it helps them become better problem solvers. Our teacher, to make things different, she moves our seats around sometimes, and she also lets us get up and go to the boards to solve problems. So we talk with our classmates. I do think it's helpful and fun because we actually have to do it ourselves. They're all talking. They're all talking and it's all about math. It's all about math. It's like, sometimes it shocks me. I'm like, oh my God, it's still to this day. We've been doing it since day one. And just to hear them talking about math, it makes my heart happy. We had a midterm, my kids did so well. I was talking to my coworkers and saying, Guys, I have never seen scores like this on, on my midterm exams. I said, y'all gotta look at these, y'all gotta look at these scores. They were really awesome. So yeah, it, it has been um, a wonderful addition to my classroom. One thing I do is set high expectations, especially when it comes down to building things in the classroom. One thing I did allow the kids to know that it's okay to struggle. One, these kids are afraid to just try because they don't want to get the wrong answer. And it's okay. Hence the reason why we're doing BTC, because you collaborate with a lot of people with different ideas and different ways to solve a problem. And one thing I hope that they'll get is to not only do math, but to know math. It helped me like be more engaged and interested in learning, because like when you just teach it to the class, it's like boring and you're just gonna go to sleep. But with us getting up, going to the boards, walking around, doing math problems, it helped like a lot. The things that we do, it helps me more. I feel like it helps me focus more and stuff. It's different from the rest of my math classes where I have to sit down and like, like write down stuff. This time I like it to get up and write it on the board. This is X, this is Y, this is M. Most of the math teachers at Lang are using Building Thinking Classrooms and we saw a huge increase in our growth from fall to winter on our scores for math testing. So we are seeing that growth piece on map testing and it's better than we've ever had before so I think that it truly attributes, I attribute it to using that BTC model and having kids interact with each other, talk through problem solving rather than just you know sitting at their desk and getting the material from the teacher. Because of the random groups you get to meet new people and you get to work with new people that you don't talk to or meet every day. So you get to see new perspective on the work and you get to see how other people do it and it also helps you in case you get something wrong. I really like working in the groups because every morning I'm like ready for math class. I can't wait to go in the groups because it just flows easier for me. It's just like way more, I don't know, it just makes me happy to go to math class. I would invite every math teacher to take part in that because I think it would enhance their skills as a math teacher. It's something that, you know, I really wish I had been doing since day one. It needed to be, you know, my first year of teaching, I wish I had used this strategy because it just, it's fluid within the classroom now. It's not easy at first, but it gets, it gets better. And 
The kids are learning so much more, I feel like, this year than they ever have before.